Recently, I've been trying to book a place on Airbnb. I thought it would be nice to take my family away for a few days over Easter, but boy, has it been difficult. If you don't already know, Airbnb allows owners to rent out their place for short-term lodging. It sounds fairly reasonable, and the prices are usually much cheaper than traditional hotels. However, over the last few weeks or so, I found out it's not everything it's cracked up to be. First of all, there's this ridiculous pricing system. Owners are able to set the nightly price seemingly to whatever they like. Here's a picture of a nice apartment in the middle of Brisbane City. Only $77 per night. What a deal, eh? But then you go to put in your dates, and then the true price is revealed. $236 a night. Sure, the base fee is still only $77 per night, but there's a whopping $130 cleaning fee and a $29 service fee. This allows owners to falsely manipulate the search results and allow their units to show up as cheap accommodation. It's a rort. Airbnb could easily fix this. Just don't allow cleaning fees and service fees, or any other fees for that matter. The price should be all-inclusive. By allowing owners to charge cleaning fees that are more expensive than the base accommodation price, this just leads to pissed off customers who have to spend hours weeding through misleading listings. You don't actually know the full price until you try to book it. Dodgy. Secondly, you end up finding a place that meets all your requirements, like this one pictured here on the Sunshine Coast. But then you go down and read the rules, and it states, Not safe or suitable for children, 0 to 12 years. After having booked a number of these places, this is basically code for we don't allow children. It has nothing to do with safety, but instead it's a way for owners to discriminate against families with small children. If I were to go to a hotel and make a booking, but they refused because I had small children, I'm sure I could make a complaint and they'd get in trouble. But on Airbnb, anything goes. I get it. Owners don't want kids messing up their apartment. Greasy hands all over the DVDs, fingerprints on the walls, etc. But surely if we make a big mess and damage some of their property, then that's on us. We'd have to foot the bill. That's what would happen in a hotel. But instead, we're just constantly refused accommodation for safety reasons. As if the owners are so compassionate about the health of my children that they decide it's not in our best interest to travel near the seaside because it could be dangerous for my kids to be near water. Anyway, we ended up finding a nice place as shown in this picture. Made a booking for a good price, $161 for two nights. But then we had to wait up to 24 hours before the owner decided to take us or not. This particular place didn't have the no children rule, so I was quite hopeful. But then a day later, what did I get? I got a message from Airbnb. Adam is unable to host your stay, but we're here to help. Adam's response was, Sorry Andrew, the house is unavailable those dates. Cheers, Adam. For one, the house was available those dates, at least on the Airbnb system. So I'm guessing his message is code for, Sorry Andrew, I waited 24 hours to see if someone else wanted the place, and I chose them because they didn't have children. Anyway, just to test him, I went back on Airbnb the next day and saw that his place was available one day after my initial booking. I could see that it was free for three consecutive days, so I booked again. This time, 24 hours later, I just got a message from Airbnb stating, Adam hasn't responded to your requests, but we're here to help. So basically, he decided to just ignore us and hope that we would go away. Fair enough, I guess. There's no use me getting angry. I mean, it is his private residence after all. Anyway, I've tried to book other places, but I've basically given up. Either they don't accept me, or just ignore me like Yvonne did here. If I was happy to pay much higher fees, then yes, I could get a place. But then why would I use Airbnb? I could just book a normal hotel and guarantee myself a place to stay with certainly no discrimination against young families. And that's my rant for today. I've heard in America that discrimination is quite common on Airbnb, especially against black families. Have you had any similar experiences with Airbnb? If so, leave a message in the comments section below. Cheers.